Hi guys, Tech James here. So quite a lot of people have been asking me for a DS emulator video for the PS Vita. So I have been explaining to people that it's just pointless because the PS Vita cannot run DS games at all. But I just decided to show you guys how DS games actually run. So just going to let you know right now, they run really bad and I don't even think audio works. But if you guys are interested and you want to test this out or you just want to see what they run like so you know that it's terrible, then what you want to do is just go ahead and open up Vita Shell. Once it finally loads, press select, connect your PS Vita to your PC and I will show you guys what's do next. Alright guys, so over on your PC, I will leave a link to the DS emulator in the description. So it's actually a GitHub page, and as you can see, this thing hasn't been updated in basically two years. So this thing is just pretty much dead now. Um, I highly doubt um, they're going to continue working on this. But anyway, all you want to do if you guys want to test it out is just get the VPK, just get the latest version, which is version 0.01. You also just want to copy and paste the name, uh, just DSMUME, just right click copy because you will need to create a folder for the ROMs. So now go to your downloads folder and just do right click new folder and then just paste in the name we copied and here are the Nintendo DS ROMs that I'm going to be testing out. So I've got Mario Kart DS and then a really crappy game called Space Invaders Revolution. Now the reason I'm going to be testing this out is because it's like a really lightweight game. So I thought it'd be interesting to test out a game that's like really lightweight and bad just to see if it improves better than Mario Kart DS or just to see if all games, um, you know, lag and are just really bad. So put your ROMs into the root of the folder. Now go back to your downloads folder, copy the VPK to the root of your PS Vita or whatever you want. And you want to put this folder inside of your data folder. So once that has finished copying across and it looks just like this, you are now done with your PC. So you can disconnect your PS Vita and I will show you guys what the emulator is like. Right guys, so on your PS Vita you now just want to install the VPK. So go onto your UX0 folder, scroll all the way down and you will be able to find the VPK. So where is it? This one right here, just press X, X again to install it. You will need unsafe homebrew enabled to install this DS emulator. So once it's installed, just completely close out of Vita Shell and then just find it on your home screen. So here is mine, so what I'm going to do is just press X on it and then just press X for start. So it loads up like this, very simple interface and we've only got two options. So you can scroll up and down to select your game and then you press X to launch it with JIT enabled and then press square to launch it without JIT enabled. So um, I'm not really sure what JIT is, I've tested this and it didn't seem to do anything at all. Um, so I'm just going to press X just to launch it normally. The first one we are going for is Mario Kart DS. So as you can see it's loading up right now and it's actually in the sort of free uh, DS um, portrait mode. So as you can see already it takes quite a while to load in but once it's finally loaded in um, there's actually like a really um, dark grey square in the corner and if you tap that you can actually change the mode so this mode's quite nice I guess but kind of strange I just like to have it on this one right here. So this touch screen actually works which is pretty cool I have to admit so it's gone single player. Oh uh, yes, I'm not just I'm not going to set this up. I'm just going to skip everything really fast, uh, just so we don't have to waste time, because this thing is slow enough anyway. So we're on the character selection menu now, and as you can see, it is really slow. Let me just turn up the volume here, and I'm not even sure if this has working sound to be honest. So that's another reason. Uh, to not play this because it doesn't even have working sound. So let me try and start a race that's just got on this one right here. Um, I'm not actually sure if it's going to work, it might even crash. I haven't actually tried to start a race before so let's see what happens. Normally it would be doing the countdown right now, for some reason it's not. I'm not sure if it's, oh there you go, it's actually coming up. It's just insanely slow. 
Imagine having to complete a lap of this, that would be so painful. Okay, so I'm going to try and play. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to work to be honest, but let's just give it a go anyway and just see what it's like. So right now, I'm not sure what the FPS is, but it must be something insane like 1 FPS or something like that. Okay, so it appears to be circle to go forward and an X to reverse. I've already reversed too far, now it's lagging. And then you can just use the D-pad to turn and stuff. So yeah, very unplayable, not even worth playing. If you think the DS emulation on the Wii is bad, then this is just insanely bad. So let's just try out the other game because it's really not worth trying this. As you can see, it's just not playable at all. I guess it's a kind of hard game to run, so let's try Space Invaders and see what happens with that. Okay, so let's go on to Space Invaders Revolution. Now apparently this game is terrible, um, that is the reason why I chose it. It's like, probably like a Windows XP game, maybe even Windows 2000 game. So let's just see. So this actually seems to be running which is kind of interesting. <laughs> it's literally just this, it's like the original Space Invaders. Okay, so it seems to be a bit laggy, but it's definitely better than what Mario Kart was. But then again, it's probably not worth it because nobody wants to play this game anyway. Um, you know, you can just get better Game Boy Advance games and emulate them on your PS Vita, so... Let's give this a try anyway. I'm not even sure how to play this game, so... Maybe this game is just so bad that it doesn't even do anything, so yeah. DS emulation on the PS Vita is really, really bad, and I doubt it's ever going to be good. And if for some reason on this emulator, if you press select, it just closes down. Um, I don't know why it does that, but it does. So there you go guys, that is why you should not try to emulate DS on the PS Vita. Go ahead and try this if you're interested. But this video was pretty much just for everyone that was asking um, how to do it. And this is how you do it. And that is how bad it is. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.